Randy, you go outside and see that everything's locked up tonight. All right, Mr. Bradford. Stay where you are and keep your trap shut. Hello, Whitey. I thought you had ten more years to serve. Yeah. But I was so anxious to get square with you that I busted out. I could have knocked you off when I first come in. But I had to face the judge when he handed me my rap. And I want you to do the same. You're crazy. Maybe stir crazy. If I am, I got you to blame for it. I've been laying up there in a pen while the Black Raven's been doing pretty good for himself. We were partners when the dough was rolling in, but when the law cracks down, you don't know me from a yellow dog. All of a sudden, you got too smart to take orders. When I saw what was coming, I protected myself. Why should I get into jam? Because you were a fool. That's your story. It's the way it looks from where I stand. You double-crossed me so you could grab the works. You could be wrong about that. Yes. And I could be right. You weren't satisfied with a 50% cut. So now I'm going to give you a 100% payoff. Go easy, man. Don't break his neck. Oh, I'm going to make sure I had him. No doubt about that. He don't know his own strength. We'll take him to my room. Bring him along. Put him in that chair. What's the matter? Didn't he like the service? He is suffering from rapid delusions, aggravated by a moronic mentality. Is that bad? Might prove fatal. I hope it ain't catching. Let up on me, Raven. I won't bother you no more. I'm quite sure you won't bother me anymore. What are you going to do with me? You've still got another ten years to serve. That'll keep you busy for a while. Don't turn me in. I'll promise to leave the country and never come back. I'd be a fool to take a chance on trusting you when I don't have to. I'm told you can slip a hot guy across the Canadian border. I don't think I know you. I'm Mike Bardoni. You're the Black Raven. I have that mug put my car away. Andy? Oh, I'd like to dry up sometime tonight. Maybe you'd like to see today's paper. I don't think so. 
I'm in a hurry to get across the border. It's liable to rain all night. You may as well be comfortable. Well, maybe I'd better. Mike Bordone in the big shot. In solid with the state organization. Taking the underground to Canada. What's the answer? My racket's paying off big, so Tim Winfield decides to take over and make me an office boy. And I don't play that way, he tosses me to the coppers. I'll come back when the heat's off and settle with him. Tim Winfield, huh? He's a bad man to fool with. Others have learned the hard way. All right, so it won't be easy. You think I got where I did by being a cream puff? How about some grub? I didn't take time to stop and eat. I'll see what I can do for you. somehow in the morning. I hope so, before Father catches up with us. Well, we'd better get out of here before the storm gets any worse. He's out in the kitchen scaring up something to eat. 
Good evening. Did you want a room? Uh, yes, the highway bridge was washed out. So I heard. Let me take these. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll carry these. All right. This way, please. You register, please. I thought I'd spend my vacation up there. Excuse me. Why don't you watch what you're doing? Sorry, pal. I hope I didn't break your bottle of cologne. I'll show you up your room. There's another car outside, one's pulling away. Another one? Oh, this keeps up, I'll never get dry. Will it only have the key to your car? Oh, yes, of course. You come with me? Nasty weather for traveling. I consider that an understatement. The bridge is washed out, you know. I know. Will you register, please? Uh, yes, thanks. Tim Winfield? He's my father. Do you know him? I've known him by reputation. He's a very prominent man. Uh, you see, we like his blessing. That's why we're planning on being married across the border. I can well understand that. Uh -huh. I may as well take you all up at the same time. Fine. Oh, would you pardon me for just a moment? If you're ready, I'll have Andy take you on your way. Oh, there's no hurry. I'll stick around for a while. I uh, like it here. Suit yourself. I'm sorry. This way, please. find this room comfortable, Miss Winfield? It's very nice, thank you. I can give you a room across the hall, Mr. Bentley. Well, that'll be fine, thank you. I'll be with you in just a minute. I'm terribly afraid. Now, everything is going to be all right, darling. We'll cross the border and be married in spite of Mr. Winfield and all his henchmen. Remember, don't worry. Follow me up here, Tim. I didn't follow you. 
What you do means nothing to me. I wouldn't be surprised if you change your mind about that. I don't like to be kicked around. You ought to draw your hat, Mike. There's no one the organization can't get along without. I'm glad to hear that, because they may have to get along without you. Well. Seldom I have such a distinguished guest as Mr. Winfield. You know me. I have had business with you, indirectly. You seem to have gotten wet. Yeah, my car went into the ditch. I had to walk half a mile or so. Oh, that's too bad. Put on this robe of mine, why don't you, while your coat dries. Thanks. That may help me from catching cold. What business did you have with me, indirectly? I don't think you'll be interested in talking about that now. Excuse me while I get a jacket for myself. Escaped. You've got to search the house from top to bottom. You've got to find him. Who search for who? He may be dangerous. He is very dangerous. That's why you must find him right away. And that don't make me anxious to find him. Where's Bentley? I've been trying to catch up with him. I don't give information about my guests. You know who I am. You better cooperate with me if you hope to stay in business. I warned you to stay away from my daughter. And you brought her here. That's right. But as soon as we reach Canada, we're going to be married. You'll never get to Canada. Look here, Mr. Winfield. Lee and I love each other. Not even you can stop us. I could kill you for that. A lot of people have felt that same way about me. But I'm still very much alive. I hope for Lee's sake that you and I might someday be reconciled. But I won't take that, not even from her father. You'll take more than that. I haven't even started on you. Lee isn't quite 21. And I'm going to have you prosecuted for kidnapping. I'll make sure you get the limit. Andy. Don't stand around there. Do what I told you. Yes. Connect me with the headquarters of the state police. That's what I said, the state police. What's going to happen? Why is father calling the police? He'd call out the Marines if he could to keep us from getting married. Operator. Operator, are you asleep? This phone's dead. It was all right a minute ago. You probably noticed there's a bad storm going on. Anything could happen. Once more, I forbid you to marry this fellow, and I expect to be obeyed. You've no right to allow a stubborn prejudice to interfere with my happiness. I'll be the judge of that. We'll go to your room, and you'll stay there till I can take you home. You were a fool to think you could put anything over on me. We'll see. always be against you. Thanks. Things look pretty black right now.
you dislike Alan because he had the courage to oppose you in politics. I dislike him. That's enough. Why should you care who I marry? You've never shown much affection for me, and you can hardly expect me to show much love for a father I, I can't even respect. What do you mean by that? Don't you suppose I can understand the dirty politics that's kept you in power? Do you think I'm such a fool as not to know where you get your money? And I can also thank Bentley for turning you against your own father. He had nothing to do with it. I knew about you before I met him. Well, you better start to forget him, because you'll not see him anymore. into my room. A man or a woman? A man, I suppose. Why would a woman want to break into my room? Yeah, I guess you're right. This is no joking matter. My life may be in danger. All right, all right. I'll go look under the bed for you. Thank you. Everything's all right here. Someone tried to open that door. That door's locked. Must have rattled in the wind. I don't think so. It sounded exactly as if someone was trying to pick the lock. It's just your imagination. You look very familiar to me. Where have I seen you before? I'm sure we've never met before. I suppose I remind you of someone else. I never forget a face. Something about you is impressed in my memory. Maybe 